Of particular importance to low-income housing tax credit developers, obviously, is this concept of eligible basis. What is included in eligible basis and what is not? And we know that land, for example, is not included in eligible basis. Interestingly, however, things that happen on top of the land or to the land, such as demolition costs or site improvements, can be capitalized to eligible basis. So here's an example of demolition costs. Let's assume that we have an existing building on top of land, and the land is valued at $300,000. The developer does a complete demolition of the existing building, costing $50,000. And then where the old building stood, the developer has a new building constructed at a price of $2 million. So the $50,000 in demolition, where does that go? Well, it would be absorbed into the cost of the land. And because it's included in land, it's not included in eligible basis. What if instead of doing a complete demolition of the existing building, the developer had a partial demolition of the building conducted, costing $50,000? in this scenario as well. Then a rehabilitation of the existing building is conducted costing two million dollars. In this scenario because the land was never stripped of the building entirely those costs of demolition would be capitalized and included in the two million dollar building rehabilitation costs meaning that the total building rehabilitation costs were two million fifty thousand dollars and if it's included in the building it's includable in eligible basis. Here's a second example. This is the land versus land improvements issue. Let's assume land is valued at $300,000 and it is bumpy and it needs to have some rough grading. So the developer has the land flattened costing $50,000. Now what has the developer done to the value of this land? Obviously improved it. So what we've done again is $50,000 gets capitalized to the price of land which isn't included in eligible basis. Now let's assume that on top of this newly flattened and leveled land the developer has a very specific hole dug costing $30,000 and in that hole a foundation is poured and upon that foundation a low-income housing tax credit property is constructed costing two million dollars to construct this new building. The question is where does this thirty thousand dollars for the cost of digging that hole where would that go? And it would specifically go to because it wasn't a general cost going overall to the value of the land and it was specifically associated with the building that would be constructed the thirty thousand dollars would go to the building. It would be classified as a land improvement and land improvements are included in eligible basis.